Hello and welcome, my name is Amir and in this video we are going to create a folder structure, something like this or it can be used as menu as well. We will provide this using a tree input. So first let me have that input here, something like this. The tree has a children which is an array of some entries. Each entry will have a name and they can optionally have children, which in this case, for this one it's empty, but for public, uh, it includes like two files. And then we have the source, which has two more entries, and then the components, which has two more entries. So it's a multi-level tree. Now we need to render this. First, I will remove all of this and only render the menu, which I will create in a minute. I would say items is the tree that we are passing. So let me go here and create the menu.js like so and uh, add it here. And of course, I need to import it here. So let's go here and say import menu from menu. Great. I need to define something here. So let's go and say menu is for now just rendering a div with the text test. And let me import it as uh, export it as well. So great, great. Okay, now we can see the test here. Now let's render the items that we have. So I would say items and this should render something like this. It would return a, let's give it a name with the class name of wrapper for now and then for each of the items that live in the children uh, these items the top ones we would first render the name so I would say item dot children dot map and then let's say each item do this item dot name and then we would close the div as well. So yeah, we're getting the top level item here. Great. But when there are like children inside of each item, we need to recursively go inside of those and render those as well. So to make life easier for each of these children, we would render another component. I would call it item. And I would pass the item to it like so and in the item I can do the recursively calling the item itself so let me create the item here as well item.js and uh, import it here so import Let's go to the item. It takes a item and it will render some JSX and we need to export it as well. We can say render a menu item. So we would call it menu item like so and we would provide the item.name then let me close this as well save and save and it should work the same as you can see here now let's go and render the children here after this is done let me make this a little bit smaller and this one as well so i have more room here so here I would check to see if the item has children and if so we would render those children as well 
so we would say item dot children if that exists so I would say div class name of uh, what should we call it let's call it sub sub menu and here inside that we would get the item that children and we would map them each of those uh, let's call it sub item each of those sub items to be another item the item to be the sub item like so uh, let me close this one and close it here as well great and now as you can see I have all of the items here now let's make these two that are items of this folder a little bit move to the right so that we know that these are the children of these so in order to do that I would grab this and go to these tiles here and I would say this I think giving some padding will do the job yeah as you can see all of these are being moved a little bit to the right okay but we need to be able to click on this one and then close and open these items or do it the same here as we can do here like so okay to do so we need to have some state on the item to know if it's opened or not so I would say uh, is opened and set is opened by default it's not opened uh, false I need to import use state and we can add it to the sub menu here so if it is not open we don't show this part so I would say string literal like uh, so and here we would check that if it's opened then it's fine otherwise let's call it a sub menu shrunk something like this and of course I need to define this so let's go to these tiles and we can say display none and save it here and as you can see the sub menus are not visible in the window here now we need to be able to click on these and open these ones so let me put this part in a button so that I can differentiate between the children and the item and here on the button I would say on click first check and see if the children are present or not and if so then we can set the is opened to be the opposite of what it is now great now if I go here and click the sub menus will open awesome and as you can see this is a folder but it has nothing inside so I will go to this one in the end but for now this is working uh, let me add some styles to this button so I would go here and add this uh, let me grab this from the div and give it to this like so and save it here as well okay great uh, the only thing that is remaining is that I don't 
know which one of these are folders and can be expanded so I need to have something here before the name so that I know that this is a folder some some arrow here would be nice so I would go to the button to the item here and when I'm rendering this I would check if the item has children or not so item dot children then I would check if it is opened then I need to have a icon here let me go to the top and grab this one for this and for the other state which is open we would have this one okay great or it should be the other way around so let me grab this and put it here and grab this and put it here okay great now if I open this this will be opened so the last thing is to do something about this empty folder so if uh, I would say if this is empty I would open it and then show that this is empty so here when I want to render I would do another check and I would say if item the children that length that uh, length if there are any things in the children then I would render this part otherwise let's say just empty something like this and it's working but uh, this is not very appealing so to say so I want to make this a component instead so I would say empty item like so and I would add it here because it's a very small component that would only render some text uh, let's say this one is a button as well so it gets all the I, all the rules that I have here so this and then let's call it is empty for instance then here I would have empty like so it should work the same the only thing that I want to do here is just make it a little bit opaque and uh, maybe italic at the same time so let me go to the let's first grab this one and then go here and then go here and say is empty uh, let's say opacity is like 0.6 and uh, font style is italic and um, let's make the cursor as well to not allowed and uh, go here and see what happens okay now it's much more appealing great so yeah this was about it for this uh, very small tutorial i hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something especially how to recursively call another component inside itself as we did here and here thank you for watching and see you in the next video